Termentic's Tips. My name is Termentic and I got some big news for you. Uh, so I made the video yesterday talking a little bit about Minecraft Earth, uh, basically from the perspective of someone who hadn't played anything of the beta. And I woke up this morning to be able to access the game. That's right, I have early access. So I spent the last pretty much half of the day today going through the game, figuring out as much as I could. And I got to tell you, I was blown away. Now, first off, Minecraft Earth has started its global launch. Um, they started in New Zealand and Iceland. Those are the only two countries that have access to it. I have seen some reports of servers being bogged down a little bit, but that's just because of the hype that this game has, the, the interest that everyone has in this game. So if you're running into any problems like that, don't worry. The servers should stabilize themselves pretty soon. But Oh my God, I gotta tell you, I, immediately as soon as I opened the game, I was blown away. The overlay that they've done is, is spot on. And again, uh, coming from someone who doesn't really enjoy most Minecraft games, I was super, super impressed with what I saw. Now, everybody knows that in order to get items, things like that, the biggest thing you have to do is find what are called tappables. All of the different creatures, items, things like that that you find on the map. And I gotta tell you, there were tons all over. I was really surprised though that it seemed like there were more tappables in neighborhoods than it seemed like there were actually at parks, which is really different. Um, if you think about like Pokemon Go and Wizards Unite, they focus more on parks, national parks, things like that. And I was really kind of surprised that it looked like neighborhoods had more resources, if you will. And it's super easy to actually get resources, I feel, in this game as well, too. I got a ton of different resources today just by tapping on things. That's it. There's, there, there was nothing else I had to do. It's just tap, 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 boom, and you got it. Now, the really cool thing, too, is that you don't ever know what you're going to get. Um, you can get uh, an uncommon, a common, a rare item. Um, I do know that it goes uh, gray for common, green for uncommon, blue for uh, rare, purple for epic, and then I believe it's orange for legendary. I haven't seen anything legendary. I'm not sure if there are any legendary mobs or anything in the game either yet. There is some legendary items that you can craft, but of course, since I just started today, there was no way I was going to be able to craft any of those legendary things. Now, going forward, I am going to make an entire video on crafting. This is pretty much just going to be a brief overview of what I learned playing the game today. I, it, was, it was awesome. I can't express how grateful I am to be able to have early access to this game, to check it out, try it out, things like that. Uh, again, I was blown away with the number of tappables that were actually on the map. There aren't that many mob types, um, per se. Right now, it seems like we only really have like the chicken. Uh, I want to say there was a sheep, there was a, a pig, and a cow. And it really seemed like those were the only mobs that you uh, really saw in the game today. Um, I do know that they are going to introduce the bunny here in just a little bit, but I don't think it's actually been put into the game itself. Now, going off of that, you can tap trees, you can tap, it looks like little hills, little hills with a little bit of water in them, um, stones, like all sorts of stuff. The thing you want to really look out for when you actually start playing the game, though, are chests. Chests are randomly placed throughout the, the entirety of the map, and you get really, really good stuff from those chests. I got a couple really good epic items. Um, I got a, a ton of really good rare items just from, from chests, and that was it. They didn't actually have a store that's open right now where you can buy gems, things like that, rubies, I should say, sorry, in order to purchase the other build plates. But there's, you can see all of the infrastructure in the game right now to where it looks like a lot of the features, all they really have to do is just flick a switch and boom, it will actually work. When you go into crafting, for example, there's three different blocks that you can actually craft three things at once. But right now with the, uh, the open beta and the, the access that people have, they only have the first one open. So you can only craft one item at a time. But again, like I was saying, it's just a flick of a switch and you'd be able to probably get those two other boxes, no problem. Same thing with smelting. Now, it was really interesting because you could tell that there were some bugs still in the game. Uh, there was a couple times where the overlay would turn blue like I was in water when I was definitely standing on ground. Um, I didn't really have any problems with the game crashing or anything like that. 
The, the funniest thing to me actually was every time that I closed the game, it would be like, oh, it looks like Minecraft Earth has actually uh, quit. Do you want to send a report? Um, I never really had to send a report just because, like I said, I didn't run into too many bugs in the game, which was really impressive uh, that it's been the way it is right now. I was really super impressed, like I said, just blown away by the entirety uh, of everything that I actually saw. Uh, now, I did go into one build plate. That's going to be another video as well, too. I'm going to go specifically and talk about build plates and stuff. But I thought it was really interesting, too, because the build plate is nothing more than just a template. Uh, the first one they give you is, I believe, an 8x8, maybe. And uh, it has a big tree in it. And all you have to do, honestly, is if you want to, you can leave the tree. If not, you can actually harvest those resources, which, again, I thought was crazy that they actually pretty much, the build plates give you resources because you can harvest them if you want to reset it to neutral in order to build something yourself, which is really awesome, I thought. Like, because I, I, originally I was thinking that either the build plates wouldn't uh, be able to be changed from what the template was, or if you did change it, it would just be a hard reset and you wouldn't get any of those resources. I was able to get all of the wood though from that, which was really like all of the wood from the tree when I actually went through. It was it was actually really, I was impressed with that. Now the other cool thing about the build plates also is that you, you do have to bring it into the real world in order to actually build on it. Um, but there was one part actually where I had some chickens and, I, and the, the chicken actually looked at me and it went like, tilted it its head and it followed me around. It was, it was the AI, I was talking about the AI yesterday. The AI in this game actually is really impressive uh, to me as well. I didn't build any big structures or anything yet. That's probably what I'm going to try to work on tonight, maybe tomorrow. And then I'm totally going to be bringing it into the real world, real size. I'm super excited about that. Like I said, that's going to be another video. Um, I have two of them planned right now. Um, one of them is going to be crafting and um, smelting. And then the other one's going to be the build plates. Um, I will probably, if enough people want me to, go over different types of tappables. Uh, there aren't, again, like I said, there aren't a ton, but there are some differences, uh, like trees, things like that, um, to where if you all want me to actually make a video going over those tappables, just leave a comment in the comment section, let me know, and uh, I can make that a priority. Now, you get experience from uh, tappables. Anytime you actually tap a tappable, <laughs> that's funny. Anytime you tap a tappable, you get experience. And just from playing for the few hours that I did today, I was able to get to level 7, which was actually pretty awesome. Um, I was correct, too, that every time you level up for every 5 levels, you do get a new build plate, which is cool, because that way you don't have to go out and buy them. Um, I was able to get 15 rubies. Um, from what I was able to gather, too, there's a little bit of a cooldown. You can get 30 of the rubies a day, but you can only get 15, and then I believe there's like a 6 or 8 hour cooldown and then you can get 15 more. Um, so a max of 30 a day, which is actually pretty cool. Uh, I'm excited about that because it gives you enough to where, like I was saying before, you don't have to spend money if you don't really want to in this game, which is super impressive for a mobile game. I am I was blown away. Uh, the other big thing that really, really surprised me is that there's no sort, no, there's no sort of energy or anything. There's nothing that's stopping you or inhibiting you from being able to, to keep on playing um, you can go and you can tap as many things as you want to and get resources it's if that's really just what you want to do that's all you can do you don't have to do anything else which was just really impressive because i i really thought that there might be some sort of like um cap on the number of resources you can get during the day or the number of xp that you'd be able to get actually during the day and from what i gathered playing there is none um, which was super impressive because again, it's not one of those pay to play games It's actually just one of those games that you're there to enjoy Something else I was really impressed with was that when you're walking around um, Enjoying the game you don't have to stare at your phone the entire time uh, Which is really awesome because anytime you come up to a tappable and you come within range because there's a little white circle that in, is around you and you have to be within the certain parameter in order to get the tappable. You just can't tap something that's down the street. But anytime that your circle actually encounters any sort of tappable, it, there's a little bit of like a, a shaking on your phone. It vibrates, if you will. So if you're out walking, enjoying your time with your family, things like that, you don't have to stare at your phone. You can have a full-fledged conversation. Your phone will actually vibrate a little bit. You look down, oh, there's the tappable. You tap it and boom, you're going right back. So it was really cool to actually that it has some sort of like a notification thing that doesn't involve uh, like anything that's auditory. 
I found out also is inadvertently I found out is uh, there is a speed cap in the game also. Um, I believe it's about 25 miles an hour or so. If you actually go above that, if you're driving for any reason, the circle actually goes from white to red and won't let you tap anything. I um, left the game running and I was going down the street and uh, it turned red. And I was like, oh, that's interesting. And so, yeah, there is some sort of a speed cap in the game, which is awesome. Um, I'm really glad they put something like, in, in, like that in this game uh, because this is something I feel that if you aren't paying attention and you're driving trying to play the game it could cause an accident because there's just so much stuff around you to actually do that I, I'm, I'm really glad that they put some sort of a speed cap in the game but like I said leave a comment in the comment section if you want me to get, make a video going over all of the different type of tappables that I was able to find um, also ones that I wasn't able to find because I can always try to do some research to find like I think there's a couple different trees that I wasn't able to find today things like that so like I said just leave a comment in the comment section if that's something you want me to cover uh, hopefully I will be able to get the crafting and smelting video out tomorrow as well I want to mess around with it a little bit more craft some more things to get some more examples and also the build plates I'm gonna hopefully get that video out within the next couple days as well kind of going over build plates exactly how they operate things like that um, Try to see if I can figure out any cool little tricks or anything for the build plates But my name is Tormentic. Thank you so much for checking out the video Give it a like if you found it helpful Subscribe to the channel for more tips, tricks, and breaking news. And as always, I hope you have a wonderful day.